Hey guys, today I'm going to show you my three methods of copying photos and videos from my iPhone to my iPad without using a PC of any kind. Now, I'm also going to talk about when I use each of them. Now, the first method is using Apple's AirDrop. Now, AirDrop works great. It's simple. It's already installed, but it has its downfalls. Now, I use AirDrop if I'm transferring, let's say, a handful of photos, maybe four or five, six maybe photos and a short video clip. Anything more, it doesn't really work. It either takes too long or the connections drop and it fails and you don't know what pictures copied or what videos copied. So it's really only good for that limited quantity and limited file size. I'm gonna show you that now. You guys probably already used it, but let's go ahead and go into photos. I'm just gonna select a photo. I'm gonna go into it or you could select multiples and then share. AirDrop, I'm gonna select my iPro 11. It's that easy. That's why I love it. That's why you guys probably love it. It's very fast uh, for wireless transfers, but again, has its downfalls. Now I'm gonna show you my second method. Now, when do I use this? Now, I use this if I have larger videos, more photos that I wanna transfer over. Um, and this is using an SD card. Unfortunately, in 2022, the iPhone, this is an iPhone 13, still uses the lightning cable. Now the lightning connector, it's still pretty slow. It's not like USB-C, but it does transfer at a decent race, like a, probably a USB 2.0 speed. I think that's what it's rated at. And the card I have, I have a standard SD card. This is a UHS-1 but it's a pretty decently fast, reliable card. It's a SanDisk card. Um, it's Extreme Pro. Just insert it in here, and I'm going to hook it up to my iPhone. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select, I'm just gonna randomly select a bunch here. A combination of photos and videos. Now I'm gonna hit the share. Now I'm gonna go into Save to Files. You can see the untitled drive, that is my SD card using this Apple SD card to Lightning. And I'll leave the links in the description. I'm gonna to go to the main folder. I'm just gonna create a new folder. You don't have to do this, it's optional. I'm gonna call it my iPhone Picks. I'll just say iPhone. And then I'm going to save. Now, it, you're not going to get a progress, but this will close when it's done. As you can see, very fast. I'm just going to unplug this. Now, they're on my SD card. What you're also going to need, unless you have an older iPad that has a lightning connector, you also need an SD card reader that is USB-C. And this Anchor one works great. I've tested a lot, sent a lot back to Amazon. This one works great. So I'm just going to go ahead and insert it here. I'll go into the Files app. Now what I recommend if you're on your iPad is you can open multiple sessions. And I've done a separate video on that. You can look at that for this. I'm going to keep it very basic. I'm going to look for the un Untitled. That's this. And here's my iPhone. And I'm just going to grab, I'm going to select all, select all, and let's move, and I'm going to move them directly to my iPad. Now in that video that I mentioned, if you do it this way, there's some overhead on the copying, and it's better to have two sessions open, and I did the the fastest way, the best way to, to copy files um, when you're on your iPad. Basically, you drag and drop them to another folder. So I'll put a link in that video too if you're interested. And that's it. Now they're on my iPad and you know I can use the photos and videos. Now, uh, the third option, a little bit more equipment required. Now, this option is what I use when I have a whole lot of videos and pictures. And let's say I'm gonna go into LumaFusion because that's what I use to do my video editing on my iPad. And I don't want gigabytes, tons of gigabytes locally 
transferring and local on my, on my iPad. Um, here's what I use, guys. I use a SanDisk. This is a SanDisk T5 um, uh, SD, SSD. Connect it to the Apple. Now, this is a USB. So I have a USB. I think it's what is a USB-A. I have power. Um, this is a, um, a lightning cable. I think they call it the camera, lightning camera connector, uh, uh, USB 3.0 camera connector. And here I'll unplug it all so you guys can see it. So you have the uh, USB port. It's a USB A port. I think it's 3.0, I'm not sure. Lightning, and that you, you need this lightning because you need the power. The lightning adapter will not power the drive on its own. It's not like a USB-C, you need to have a power. So this is uh, connected to a, a 10 watt Apple charger underneath my desk. So I'm gonna plug this stuff back in. Now, I am gonna go hook it up. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hit select. I'm just going to multiples, right? And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hit share. Save to files. This time I see a Samsung T5 SSD. And I'm going to save it locally just to that main directory. So they're saving. Now I'm done. Now what I do is I'm going to unplug this, switch over. Now I need a USB-C to USB-C. Now you know, if you guys have one of these which has a USB-A, you don't have to do that. Um, or, you know, you can also use the SD card. I, I use this often, but not everybody has that. I'm going to go ahead and click on or push this in here. Now I have access to these videos and photos without having to copy them and keep them local on my iPad. Samsung T5. Uh, I didn't realize I had other photos in that directory. But trust me, they're in here. So the other nice thing about using it this way is you can also just go into LumaFusion and do your processing directly from the Samsung T5 drive. They don't have to be on all your project information, your data does not have to be on your iPad. So that's it guys. Those are my three ways that I use to copy photos and videos from my iPhone to my iPad without using a PC. So all of this stuff, if you're interested, they'll have links in the description. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments and thanks for watching.